17 months after shooting Trayvon Martin and three weeks after his murder trial began, George Zimmerman is a free man tonight. The GPS tracking device gone from his ankle, the gun he used in the shooting, his if he wants it back. A jury of six women acquitted Zimmerman of murder and manslaughter charges late Saturday night in Florida, but life is anything but back to normal. First came the protests, and now there could be a civil suit and or a federal case brought by the Justice Department. The former neighborhood watchman has not spoken yet, but just a short time ago, Barbara Walter sat down exclusively with Zimmerman's parents and joins us now with that. Barbara. Well, yes, Bill. George Zimmerman did not take the stand in this trial. He is in hiding. He has not spoken publicly since his acquittal. But today, his parents, Robert and Gladys Zimmerman, talked openly about the polarizing trial for the first time together without their appearance hidden in silhouette as it has been. They told me about their fears for their son and for themselves. We begin with a question on many people's minds. Is your son George a racist? Absolutely not. He's never been taught to be a racist. That is a question that so many people have been asking since George Zimmerman was found not guilty in a trial that riveted and divided the nation. We, the jury, find George Zimmerman not guilty. The controversial verdict immediately sparked protests. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! And hundreds gathered in the streets of San Francisco, New York, and other cities. Twitter exploded with 48,000 tweets a minute immediately after the verdict. Two days later, six million tweets and counting have been sent, revealing a deeply conflicted nation. Conservative pundit Ann Coulter came down in support of the verdict, saying, Hallelujah! New York Giants wide receiver Victor Cruz tweeted and then deleted. Zimmerman doesn't last a year until the hood catches up to him. Are you concerned for George's safety? Yes, I do. Yes? yes. Why? What do you think could happen? Uh, it, it's a lot of death threats on, you know, in the you media, social threats? media, um, um, you know, death threats on him that I, I'm concerned, not only for Georgie, but for, you know, the whole family. In such a charged atmosphere, even George's parents, Robert and Gladys Zimmerman, have received death threats. Can you give me some idea of what some of the threats have been? Uh, every one of George's DNA should be killed. Uh, just every kind of horrible thing you can imagine. Do you have to live in hiding, do you think? Yes. Yes? Yes. No. You, you don't give friends or family your address? No. no. And you're living, I guess you can't tell me where then. Correct. In Central Florida, <laughs> but... Some place in Florida. But where? My wife's brothers have no idea where we live. Or... Really? So for you to do this interview and show your faces, that takes a lot of courage. Yes. Both parents testified during the trial, stating that the voice heard on the 911 call screaming was their son's. Do you know whose voice that was screaming in the background? Yes, sir. And whose voice was that? My son, George. And are you certain of that? Because he's my son. Absolutely, he's my son George. Did you feel it was self-defense? Oh, yes. Did you see or think when the incident happened that it was racial? Absolutely not. There are people who say that your son targeted Trayvon Martin because Martin was black. How do you answer them? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Tell me more. Georgie is not racist. We are not racist. We don't see colors. I mean, we are colorblind. And you yourself, uh, you two are an interracial couple. We, we, we are a, a mixed race couple. George and his wife are a mixed race couple. Uh, my wife's two brothers married outside of their race. Three of my four sister, sisters married outside of their race. The protests have been mostly framed by the issue of race, as you both know. What do you say to people who are demanding vengeance, especially some people in the black community? It, it, it is hard to, to it, it is hard to say what I can tell them. It's, 
I, I, I'm a very religious person. It's nothing I can tell them, but it's something that I can do. I can pray for them. But her husband says prayers only go so far in what he sees as a new American culture of hate. You served in the Army. You were a court magistrate. You're a proud American. But you have written a book recently, and you said, America has changed. What do you mean? I never thought that we would see so much hatred. And the hatred is not brought on by any racial incident. It was brought on by attorneys being totally untruthful, other people involved, having a certain narrative, having a certain agenda, and making this situation race-based and a political issue. Lost in all the controversy, they say, is the son that they know. We've seen him not showing a lot of emotion, but that's not the son you see. Describe George to us. What you see is a composed person. Mm -hmm. A composed person, that's what you see. And that's what you will see in all my kids. When they're in public, they, they try and keep their composure. But George is the most outgoing, very compassionate uh, person. This has been such a difficult time for your family. As parents, what would you say to Trayvon Martin's parents? That we are deeply sorry for this tragedy. Deeply sorry. We pray for Trayvon Martin to be in a better place. It's always in our prayers. Is there a lesson that can come out of all of this? Hopefully. And what is the lesson? That America should not be divided. That's what I think. If he is watching now, what do you want to say to your son? That I love him with all, all my heart. And that I knew that he's a truthful man, that I knew from the beginning that he was saying the truth, and it was in my heart. And I knew that the truth will come out. I'm sorry that it has to come this way. Painful for the whole family. But the truth will set you free. And tonight, one young man is dead, the man who shot him is in hiding, and the lives of two families have been destroyed.